people warm welcome it is time for fortune friday ask me anything series and today i'm flooded with questions thank you for sending all of them to me and i'm going to answer at least four of them that's my plan um if we have time left i'm happy to answer more but yes today i promise four questions answered okay so let me very very quickly begin the first question i have is from crazy gary and crazy gary is asking is it a good time to invest any time you notice i'm looking down i'm looking at all the questions you guys have sent me so i'm going to select four of them so crazy gary is asking is it good time to invest hi rokya welcome everybody okay i'm answering so any time is a good time to invest provided you are a knowledgeable investor so if you are a knowledgeable investor if you know how to pick good quality investments you understand the art of diversification you understand the art of investment portfolio building then any time is a good time to buy okay any time is a good time provided you know what you're doing provided you know what you're buying if you're not a knowledgeable investor then any time is not a good time because when you are not knowledgeable you're not an informed investor you shouldn't be investing at all it's like throwing your money in the dustbin don't do that okay so invest only when you've built the knowledge like you become an engineer and then you go for an engineering job because if you don't take the degree you jump straight to a job you're signing up for a lifetime of low paying jobs you and i know that and so we always make sure we have a degree in hand the same way with investments become financially educated then invest your money know what's happening and no matter what the market scenario is if you're picking good quality investments they're bound to do well in the long run so focus on the long term don't focus on the short term there is nothing like get rich quick scheme so focus long term make sure you have proper goals set for yourself you have the actual amounts identified that you need for your financial goals and then go ahead invest in them so that's number 1 okay the second question that i have is from elizabeth hi hasmita thanks for your question today i'm flooded with questions so let's see if i can answer yours but yeah i'm already taking the questions i have received everybody if you have questions make sure we put out a post we also put out a story on ask me anything series make sure you send in your questions right there okay so please send them in hi rupal welcome okay so the question from elizabeth is is it a good time to invest in mutual funds so given what's happening right russia has in a way invaded ukraine and a lot of unrest right here in the world global economy is hit indian economy is hit yesterday the stock market was down and yes when the market is down it's a great opportunity to buy good quality mutual funds equity mutual funds and good quality stocks so elizabeth if you know the step by step methodology to pick good quality equity mutual funds you know the step by step methodology to pick good quality stocks then yes given the market conditions <coughs> especially when something happens and the market slides it's a great opportunity to buy into good quality investments and any time a war has happened look at the 3 months uh you know 3 3 months after that 6 months after that the market has always recovered this stock market has been around for years decades and it's going to be around for many many more years so just persist okay go on like really keep going that's what you need to be doing and elizabeth if you don't know the methodology to pick good quality mutual funds i highly recommend you learn from us at women on wealth become financially educated then only invest in mutual funds because if you are investing in mutual funds and without know how you are investing on hearsay you don't know why you are picking a certain mutual fund then there's no point because then you are just gambling and investments are not gambling okay investing is investing gambling is gambling 
gambling is very different from investing investing is when you know what you're doing you're taking a calculated risk a very very knowledgeable risk you understand what you are headed for okay so that's how it is okay kanchan is asking kanchan dhar and everybody who's joining do acknowledge that you're around allow me to know that you are here kanchan is asking do geopolitical events really impact the stock market so the geopolitical event which is happening right now is the war the russia ukraine war which hit the stock market indian stock market and the global markets yesterday like it was a heavy fall that happened and some of good quality stocks went down from their 52 week high they went down 20% yeah even 22% so yeah it had a huge huge impact right the war did have an impact on the indian market the indian economy the automobile sector the chemical sector a lot of sectors were hit yeah badly and there were some sectors which were talked about in today's newspaper i also mentioned in today's decoding of the economic times newspaper right the live that we did that we do every friday every friday morning so there also i spoke about how you know the markets are hit across the world different sectors are hit across the world especially those items which are exported are hit so yeah a lot of unrest right now so kanchan you are asking is the paper mostly making noise well as far as this situation is concerned it's not noise it is really what so of the situation what so of the world which is being reported yeah so russia has invaded ukraine it is after all the natural resources that ukraine has it did not use dialogue as a method to resolve anything that it had to and there were a lot of conversations that even our prime minister narendra modi has done and there is pressure which is being built internationally on russia so all that is happening and there is an impact which is um, for everybody to see even russia is going to be impacted right given the reputation which has gotten hit so yeah this this is not noise and i understand that yes there is a lot of noise about other stuff like cryptocurrency there is often a lot of noise around it nfts and other things but this one seems to be more reporting okay more reporting that's happening hi mukta good evening welcome okay last question is the question that i have from kaveri bharat and she's asking if you have extra money is it wise to invest as lump sum in the same mutual funds that you have sips in so kaveri i know you you are a money gymmer you've done the money gym program you've done the stock investing course i know you have learned the step by step methodology to pick good quality mutual funds not just that you're also helping other community members learn it so i know that you've selected good quality mutual funds you've learned the methodology you are financially educated so now once you've selected good quality mutual funds you can invest yeah this extra money that you are wanting to invest as lump sum absolutely you can do that right so do that average out the buying price see the intention of doing systematic investment plan in mutual funds sip in mutual funds is that you average out your buying price that's the whole intention and especially if you are investing lump sum say at a point when the market is sliding then you know you're further averaging out the price so yes when the market is sliding uh, there is a lot of news in the papers today that analysts are saying that the next seven trading sessions are going to be important while the market's rebounded today rebounded means the market performed today it went up yet again today um but yeah we don't know the future let's see if what analysts are saying will come true they're saying watchful be watchful for the next seven trading sessions and yes kaveri if the market is coming down on any day maybe investing this lump sum could be a good idea or break the lump sum down to a couple of days and invest it yeah invest it over days that's how also you can do it completely on you i trust you because you understand investments so it's just yeah 
if it fits your financial plan and for everybody okay who is not a knowledgeable investor guys please do not invest lump sum okay and do not actually invest why i say so is because if you don't understand what you're doing no point doing it okay so don't make the mistake just stay put don't invest your money if you're not knowledgeable if you are knowledgeable you have a financial plan set then just keep investing more and more in good quality investments and they're bound to make money in the long term that's how it is hi himanshi welcome okay let me see i think we have a little time and we can take hasmita's question hasmita you're saying is it a good time to invest in sovereign gold bonds well um thanks to all the uncertainty that has happened gold has touched the high again with the war beginning gold which is considered to be a precious metal it is you know considered as a hedge and um, this has you know again hit a high gold prices have gone up and today the newspapers are filled again with this information as well so i am not sure if it is time to buy gold right now um yes sovereign gold bonds are one of the best ways to invest in gold because they give you the best returns at least that's what history informs us but at the same time right now the tranche is not out yeah the tranche will come in a while and um yeah i i am not sure if exactly right now is the right time but yeah you know if you are a knowledgeable investor you've been investing in gold bonds for some time and you want to further average it out your gold bonds or gold as a category is not 10% of your equity investments then go ahead um you know invest don't wait and uh, mostly gold bonds have that kind of track record that they make money over the long term for its investors so yeah for everybody who's listening sovereign gold bonds is not for short term investing there is no trading that happens here there is a lock in period so 8 years is a lock in period so yeah if you're looking for something short term then gold funds it is but of course you need to know how to select good quality gold funds before you get into them so yeah hasmita i trust you got your answer and everybody i close the live here thank you for participating thank you for sending your questions i really enjoy looking at them so make sure week after week you keep sending the questions in advance so that i can answer them for you and really really take care of you and make sure that you're moving forward towards your financial success on this note i'm closing the live keep coming back loads of love take charge stay safe bye bye